guys, Pai here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I have this brand new rear entertainment display with a bigger event and also uh, most importantly it's manually adjusted event just like on the OEM event that came with the car. This is um, rear entertainment display unit that has pretty much everything you need for the rear passenger and it also has 4G um, connection, internet connection so you don't have to rely on um, your phone or your Wi-Fi at home at all. So in today's video I'll show you what comes in the box and then step by step installation and then we'll test it out and see how it looks in my Tesla Model Y. Now let's go. Let's see what comes in the box of this latest version of rear entertainment display unit for Tesla Model 3 and Model Y from Tesla C. Here what comes in the box. Let's take a closer look at the display first. So this is probably one of the first that I have seen so far that you can adjust the air vent manually just like the original one on the car but now you have a display with it so the air vent you can adjust not only left and right you also can adjust up and down individually for both sides of the passenger so you go left right or up and down on both of them which is really really awesome because all of the display that I have reviewed so far um, they are fixed um, air vent and they're really small and this is probably the biggest size and the right um, position to blow the air vent to the rear passenger um, not only um, the air vent you also have two USB-C port and then built-in speaker and then the built-in microphone um, so this is 7 inch display with Android um, system so it has Wi-Fi Bluetooth and 4G so there's a little dongle here that you can insert so just press it open it and you can insert the SIM card so this is 4G capable or compatible so you can insert the SIM card and the display can use the 4G to stream the service or to use other uh, function on the display so you don't have to rely on your uh, mobile hotspot or Wi-Fi anymore so which is really really awesome so all these cables and this display is a lot much faster than the previous display um, that I have reviewed before it should be a lot faster and this is the communication box that you'll be installed um, with the wire harness so this is the wire harness that connects to the rear center console connector or OBD port this is the wire harness for the front passenger seat so this is optional you don't have to if you don't want to control the front passenger seat and this display is really really simple and easy to install shouldn't take longer than 15 to 20 minutes um, if just the display itself without the front passenger cable it should be really really easy to install and USB-A to USB-C adapter so you can plug it in and plug in your USB dongle for you know movie or music and classic plug too and the instruction manual Alright, now we saw everything that came in the box. Let me show you where you can get this newest display. You can get this latest rear display from Tesla C or teslac.com and make sure you select the right option for your car. If you have the Model 3, the older Model 3 selects here, newer Model 3 selects right here. And if you have a long range Model Y or performance Model Y, select the one with the OBD port in the rear center console. And if you have a standard range Model Y, select the one without the rear OBD port. And if you are interested, you can use my special discount code DATTC for extra $100 discount from $399 to $299. That is really, really good deal. Now let's go and install it 
in my Tesla Model Y. Before I install the display, let me show you how you can save on solar panels by using drone code. Drone code is an online solar marketplace using drones for accuracy and quality assessment. Drone code is offering a free EV calculator so you can use it to calculate cost savings of driving an EV. The EV calculator is really easy and simple to use by just select your EV and driving details. It even tells you how many solar panels you would need to cover your driving. Don't forget to check out their YouTube channel for other solar and battery related content. Please be sure to click the link in the description down below for more info about Drone Code. Thank you so much Drone Code for sponsoring this video. Now let's go and install the display. Okay, first step we have to remove rear passenger air vent first. So there's no screw attached to this. There are clips inside so basically just grip on this part right here and then pull it just like that gently don't don't pull it too hard because there are, there's a cable here and the plug that we have to remove so this is a power um, plug and cable that power your two USB-C ports in the back here then you just need to remove these plug out there's a little clip here just pull it and then remove it. Okay, next step we have to remove that panel on the bottom right there. Um, you might need a little bit of help with the trim removal tools. I got these from Amazon.com. Uh, came in really handy with different projects. So I'll put the link in the description down below. Now let's remove that panel out. Okay, just use the trim removal tools. Um, plug it in. And um, again, these there's are no screws here. Just um, basically clips. And just use another one there. So one is pop open. It's really easy to pop the whole thing out. Now let's connect the pass through for the front passenger seat control first. So in order to do that, you have to remove this panel out. But before you can do that, there's like a screw on the bottom here. Let me show you. You can use T20 to unscrew it out. So here's that screw right there. You will need a T20. Just right here below the seat just right that location so easiest way to remove is to use a small wrench and a t20 after you unscrew it there are clips right here so just gently pull it out just like so and then you see this seat control plug so this is where the seat control is and just unplug this one like a purple and yellow out and then now we just use this one I would um, suggest to put the other end this is this is where you will connect to the display underneath there's like a hole here, here. just put through the hole now connect the original plug from the car which is purple and yellow to the green and white from the display like so and then now you just plug this one back in to the plug that we unplug from the seat control we just plug this one back in when we unplug the seat control and then we're done just put everything back and then run the cable under the seat to the rear center console after you are done with the front passenger control cable make sure you pull it underneath you know, just underneath the chair and then get it over on this side right here and it'll come out this way now we are ready to connect to the rear OPD port but before we do that let's turn off the car power first um, so you just go to the main menu right here all the way down to safety and then power off now we can disconnect this blue OBD port in the back here just disconnect it and then use the white pass-through plug that came with the display this is will pass through all the information and the power to the display so just connect the blue from the car to white from the display and then connect the white one back into 
the blue OBD port and that's it now we just have to connect the cable from the front passenger seat control to the main wire harness now um, just you know manage the cable so you can close the panel back and then um, I usually just thread the wire up this way there's like a space right here um, to the top part or if you don't want to do that just unscrew these two um, screws right here these are T20 and then you should be able to pull this panel off but then I uh, usually just you know thread the wire up and then catch it to the top because there are a lot of space here as you can see I got all the wires up um, through this part its lower part off it's actually underneath the air vents right here so a lot of space so just thread it up instead of remove this panel and I got everything up here now we just have to connect everything to the display okay before you connect if you go with the 4G um, SIM card options make sure you install that first before you connect all the wires but otherwise um, first let's connect transmission box first before I connect anything let's close this panel first again there's no screw just manage the wire and just you know put it back in now let's connect the box so just the biggest plug the white one and then after you're done just put it in that underneath slot um, underneath the air vent so there's space there so it doesn't block the air vent at all now let's connect the display so first connect the power first um, remember this one we unplug it from the original air vent that power the two USB-C ports so this way also has the same plug that's connect to the power so this will power the USB-C port and the display right here and now let's connect the data which is this white cable right here and then just plug it in boom now probably it's the trickiest part because there are a lot of wiring um, going on um, connected to this display so just try to manage the wires um, whatever you can tuck on top of the air vent just slide it in just like space both on the bottom and the top so just slide all the wiring um, just try to manage the wiring that's that's all it is and just pop on the bottom and on the top and that's it now let's turn on the car all right power is on as you can see so it when it's on it shows if the car um, the doors are open so right now the back door it's open because I have to leave it open um, a little bit unlocked basically not all the way in so the car will operate it. otherwise we just you know turn everything off again so you can close this one and it will also show the seat belt warning so, because I'm sitting right in the middle seat of the back seat right now so it's warning on the back middle seat so it kind of just turn that off too really really nice love the colors um, it keeps that original dark gray color on the air vent and really good size um, display all right before we go through all of the functionality of the display let me show you the overall look of this display in my Tesla Model Y. As you can see the display looks really really nice and clean and fits really well in the back of my Tesla Model Y. 
really really cool i love um without the you know the display without that silver trim like the other display has and the shape is not you know it doesn't come out wider than the actual armrest or the actual center console at all so this is what the dark mode look like so looks really nice and clean one of the main function about this display is different from other rear display is that it has much bigger event right here and it has this manual adjustable left let's see closer you can move left or right both sides and up and down so you can adjust to the middle seat uh, passenger and of course the one to the left and the one to the right and you can adjust both up or down really really nice um, at the same time you know they kind of made it super nice and clean with the big screen and the big event in the back I believe a lot of people are waiting for this um, display with the manual adjustable air vents so you get a lot more airflow in the back for the rear passenger too. Let's go through all uh, the functions of this display. So when it's on this is your main um, screen. So the main screen shows climate control right now. It's the rear climate control is on. You can also turn it off with that then it's off. So you can control the climate control um, on off and also the temperature here. So what you can see is Fahrenheit right now to change easy um, to change to Celsius. It just press and hold. I'll change to Celsius as you can see 21.5 Celsius again press and hold and then change to Fahrenheit. It's really really easy to change the adjustment on that and then I'll show you the total uh, percentage of the car 50% as you can see on the car right now 50% too so that's accurate also all the main menu are down here this is always go back and you can control this is the fan speed so the top it's fan speed as you can hear as I increase on the display it increases in the car too so you can always control the fan speed in the back. I have the heat on right now. I have to have the heat on. Look at outside. It's snowing actually on the outside. Uh, I would love to get more lights in here, but the sun doesn't come out today for some reason and I can't really open the window because it's freezing outside. So let's go. Um, oh, one more thing. To go, there's a shortcut to um, places just swipe down and then you can get to the shortcut so you can go to um, on off just really similar to you know on your iPhone actually you can turn on turn off the Wi-Fi turn on turn off the Bluetooth always can go home here the clock so this is go home and then when you press the clock this will show up so we're just you know like a sleeping um, mode screen we just have the clock just press again or go back to your default home page swipe again you can see you can adjust the brightness in the back here really really simple really easy to do and let's go back again just go back home so you can control um, audio volume of um, the whole car so when you press this you can control you know high or low or you can also control the main audio by pressing here. As you, promised me that I and you can pause, you can skip to the next song, and you can pause again. Really, really convenient. So it will just pop out when you, you know, press on the sound of the car. Really, really convenient. I love super clean um, design in the back here. And let's go to the main setting first so go to to go to select the main setting just press the car icon right here then the main setting will pop out um, the network which you can see here um, it's connected to let me see it's connected to my home Wi-Fi right now because I'm parking it um, at home and you can also um, 
use this as a hotspot because remember this one has the 4G capable so if you put in the SIM card and you can actually use this as a hotspot for your other devices like your iPad um, for your kids in the car which is really really awesome see um, mobile data off on I have it off because I didn't I do not have the SIM card for just internet connection um, with me so I didn't actually test that it should work though um, so far it looks really good so we can do all the setting with the network right here go to the next one and you go to Bluetooth the Bluetooth switch on you can also connect this to your car so um, let's try to connect this um, to the car should go to the car here and then go to source go to bluetooth and then pair a new device we'll just start search and it should it should just popped out so this is the one that is for the rear display just select that and it should just connect to the display there you go it is connected all right now it's connected let's test out the video i got um amazon prime connected to this and I downloaded the app via Google Play which it has like an Android base in this um, display so let's try to play that where to go when I be there oh, I see my country on my own you can see the cell it's outputting to the car so um Okay, um, just to let you know, every single device that I um, tested with Tesla, um, doesn't matter Model 3, Model Y, it has delay. If you output the sound to the car speaker, doesn't matter if it's the rear display device or the front display or even your phone. So let's say if you try to watch YouTube on your phone, and connect the Bluetooth to the car, it will have like a seconds or a second and a half delays to it. But the best way to um, watch any uh, movies or anything in the rear display here is either use the internal speaker that this display have. Let me show you. Can we see? But it's in the back um, down here, or connect the display to a. Bluetooth headphone. Let me try to find one. It's the Bluetooth headphone. So let me try to connect the Bluetooth headphone since we talk about the Bluetooth connectivity. So just easy shortcut back to home. There you go. And then we go to the setting, the main setting right here, and go to Bluetooth. All right. So go to audio Bluetooth and then refresh the available device when you activate your. Bluetooth devices and it will show up here um, and then just press on it just press on your device and it will just try to connect um, by itself and here it is now it's connected to my Bluetooth headphones now let's try to watch something real quick so this is their demo video that came with it let's see right here As you can hear, the sounds coming out from the Bluetooth headphone. This is probably the best way to listen to the display, the you know the movie or the music. It's just to connect your Bluetooth headphone to the rear display. So this way, you know your kids can just sit here and watch the the movies or YouTube in the back while you're driving, and doesn't bother what you're listening. Or you know while you're driving the car at all which is really really awesome all right let's um, go to the next setting real quick so we went through the Bluetooth um, equalizer right here I wouldn't want to mess with it I'm not sure this is probably probably for either the headphones um, or the internal speaker of the display not for the car of course and then the apps so the apps you basically just go to a Google Play Store and you know download any apps that is compatible 
with this display. Let me go back. There you go. So I download a few apps right here. Um, you can also add the apps to this screen. Sorry. There you go. So online video, so you can also add the apps on this screen. You can see the apps, but you can always um, select the apps from here too. Um, let's see if I can select the Needs for Speed or BB Racing. So this display allows you to play the games just because this is touch screen. You can either play the game with the touch screen or let me try to connect to a Bluetooth controller. Let's see. Let's see if I can play with the Bluetooth controller too. But of course, you can always um, able to use the touchscreen display to play the game. Let's go back. Okay, go back. So we were at the app. So you know, just download any apps you like. Some apps would work. Some apps won't. Um, depends. Um, so far, I tested uh, Prime Video works, Netflix um, somehow tried to start the page, and there you go. It just, oh, it actually works. So, yeah, Netflix actually works, which is awesome. So far, Prime Video works, which is really good because there are a lot of program on Prime Video, and of course, YouTube works too. Um, setting. So there is a main setting. Um, you can select the display mode to auto. Auto will just follow whatever the main display in the front. And then daylight mode and the night mode will be dark like this. Uh, I'll just put on auto. And automatic time and date, date and time. Um, since I do not have the SIM card, I'll just use close. Um, and then I just manually put the date in there and in the time we just select you know whatever your time zone is and you can change the language from here and since we have you see the US two USB-C ports here this one to charge your device you can also charge with this but this one can also be a data so you can plug in the you know USB dongle or USB-C dongle in here and you can read any files from here um, from photos, uh, music, or video. So you, let's say you don't have any um, internet connection to this display, you can you know just put the videos or movies into a device or a dongle. Just plug it in, and then you can play it from here. Uh, but this display can connect to your Wi-Fi hotspot. So instead of you know connect to your your home wi-fi you do not have a 4g sim card just basically connect to one of your phone in the car and your kids can watch anything in the back here and this is the info of the display really really cool right so we went through um, the setting let's go home um, adjust the temperature again the temperature if you adjust here you also adjust the temperature of the driver because this is linking to the driver only a front passenger have has its own temperature control. The next one is the seat. Um, so you can turn on, turn off the heated seat in the back. As you can see it's on right now. And then you can adjust just normal, like how you adjust in the front, three levels, or you can close all of them. Um, not only that, since we connected the front passenger seat control earlier, um, when we were installing this, you can control a front passenger seat. You can see he can move forward or move backward. You can also control the reclining function here. There you go. Um, if you ask why do you need this function, um, this has been really useful for me. It might not be use as useful for some um, owners because I do have a nine years old um, sitting in the back here in the back seat so I usually take her to school by myself I don't have a front passenger so if she needs more leg room in the back here she can just do it by herself 
from the display but if you have little kids I wouldn't let the little kids know that this display can control the seat because they might be messing with it so it could be you know really really useful for um, parents like me all right so that's this um, seat um, icon it's for and then the music so this one it's this one doesn't control the main audio of the car only way to control the main audio of the car is just turn on you know play oh sorry all right and um, the audio you can do it online music so you can download the apps uh, music apps from the app store and then add it to here and you can do a local I don't think you can do local okay local meaning I believe you can just download um, the music from USB-C dongle and then you put you just you know record it and then put into this display because it has internal memory on the display and you can access it on the USB dongle too and Bluetooth music you know you connect to your another Bluetooth device and this one we went through with it um, you can also watch the movie uh, from your USB-C dongle and also um, download the movie into the display and watch it later like this one right here cunning duct and yeah that's uh, pretty much it now let me try to connect the display to the game controller All right so I went to the same audio Bluetooth again and then just activate my Bluetooth controller and it's showing right here just select All right for some reason this display won't let me um, connect the Bluetooth game pads or Bluetooth game controller so you can only connect to the audio devices or you know like headphones and speakers you will have to play the games with the touchscreen I guess it will be so much better it'll be awesome uh, for the kids in the back if you know I could connect the Bluetooth controller to the display all right now let's go test it out if we can watch the rear display while the car is driving I just connected the display with my Wi-Fi hotspot on my phone right now so as you can see it's on YouTube let's drive the car let's play the video there you go and, um, we are about like almost like quarter miles outside of the house right now as you can see the video is playing it's on the internal um, speaker built-in speaker right now you can see it's working great now we know that we can watch um, the movies or you know streaming um, the movies from the streaming services on the display while you're on a road trip or you know you're picking up your kids and they want to watch the movies in the back here this is really really awesome um, I think it's the best way to either have the um, 4G SIM card installed or just you know easy just connect to your Wi-Fi hotspot on your phone last but not least the display also has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto so you just press the main menu and then go to apps and go to Zilling 5 as you can see here and then you can connect your phone either Apple phone or Android phone to the display so it show Apple CarPlay and Android Auto not only that you can also mirror whatever on your phone to the display so it also has the mirroring function on the display too as you can see this new rear entertainment display unit is pretty much what you need for the rear passenger offers so many functions um, and most the most important part in my opinion is the 4G connections because a lot of people have been asking for that 4G for the rear display also that manually adjusted um, air vent and it's 
bigger air vent um, in the back for the rear passenger because a lot of the display that I have reviewed before they're either too small or they cannot be adjusted and yeah this pretty much um, all in one completed display only one thing that is missing um, the function that you cannot connect to the game controller thank you so much guys for watching today's video let me know in the comment down below about this display and I'll make sure to put the link for this display and the discount code in the description down below don't forget to click like if you like the video don't forget to subscribe for more awesome contents like this we'll see you on the next video peace